All right, so let's start by talking about pots and pans. Okay, so let's talk about in the very beginning of my show years ago, I became a big Rachel Ray fan. Do you guys remember the orange set that I had? And then I bought a set from QVC. I went through a whole bunch of non-stick versions. Uh, Calphalon, that was a great set. So basically what happened was I did some research. I did some reading. I found out non-stick puts like chemicals in your food and it's just not real healthy. So what what did I do? You guys know what I went? I went to the to the Heritage Steel, which is probably the best quality pan I've ever used. I find nothing wrong with this pan other than when you get a pan like this, a stainless steel, okay, this thing's very durable, very uh, easy to clean, but the cleaning process takes a while. You have to, I did a video on it. You have to put it on the stove with some water and boil it, and then you have to uh, wipe that out, clean it out, and then put some uh, barkeeper's friend in there for a half hour, and then you gotta come back, you gotta clean it. I mean, that's just, if you fry an egg. And I really started getting tired of doing the cleaning process, but it cleans easy. Look how beautiful that looks still. This pan looks gorgeous. Trying to keep these things clean uh, was a time uh, time drain, all right? So let's talk about this one above my head. This one here, do you guys remember this one? The granite, whoops, sorry. The granite stone the made out of the rock, right? So this one was my go-to pan. It wasn't very big, about a, I think that's a 10, inch, eight to 10 inch, somewhere in there. Does it say? Yeah, it's granite stone. Uh, it's the granite stone one. Anyway, there's no non-stick on it. It's like kind of like rock. And it's the easiest thing to clean. No matter what you burn in here, it pops right off. And it's clean. Wipe, 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 you're done. Hang it back up, let it, you know, dry it off, hang it back up, and you're done. It takes just a minute where this uh, Heritage Steel takes a long process. So that's where we're at today, okay? So now let's take you to the next step. This is the next step. I've been through so much over time. This is called the rock. I got this at Sam's Club and every pot and pan in here is got that kind of like that granite stone, that rock. Uh, it's some sort of a uh, enhancement rock tech. It's a rock tech. I don't know. Anyway, every single pot and pan in here comes with its own lid. You don't have interchangeables. They all get their own lid. We got this for, uh, what, 119, right? Yeah, we got this for $119 during the holidays. So I finally broke it out. I'm ready to switch my kitchen over to this. Uh, we're going to test it out and see how easy it cleans. If it cleans super easy, I'm sticking on this for a very long time. I can't guarantee it might not go to another pot or pan, but this one, if the rock cleans easy, I'm in. You guys ready? Let's check it out. All right, All right so taking a first glance at these, okay, all these pots and pans are oven safe without the lids. Once again, do not put the lid in because these will get burning hot. Uh, without the lid, 450 degrees, every one of these pans, okay? Every pan has a, a steam hole on every lid. So what do you notice about this that's different than any other set I've ever bought? I'll give you a second. I, and I'll give you a hint. You ready? It's these two right here. What do you what do you notice? Okay, I'll show you. Let me take the lid off here. These frying they're called fry pans, but they look like little skillets. See how deep they are? See how the sides come up? I've never seen that before. Normally they're just frying pans. But these are like skillet, skillet, skillet. This is called a skillet. This one is huge. This is amazing. There's your stock pot, that's your sauce pot, that's your sauce pot. Everyone has its own lid, I don't have to worry about it. There are times I'm using more than one of these and they share a lid and that really stinks. But um, every one of these are really nice. Heat resistant handles, they're still gonna be warm if you put them in the oven. Make sure you pull it out with some uh, oven mitts, okay? And um, here's another thing that was kind of weird, I thought, it's bizarre. These can't go high heat like those stainless steel ones I had. These can go like medium, uh, medium high, and you gotta put something in the pan. You can't heat it up dry. You can't not have oil, not have butter, not have bacon fat. 
uh, not have, uh, I don't know if you can use nonstick spray on this. I don't know if you would, but basically they say don't heat these up, which I'm going to just for the sake of this video, <laughs> but it's, it damages the, that rock coating. It's, it's still called a nonstick coating, but it's not your everyday basic nonstick. It's got like a, uh, it's a patent pending. They say they have the patent on this. So let's see what happens. Anyway, let's give these a test run. Uh, we're going to try out, we're going to fry an egg. We're in here. We're going to uh, do some scrambled eggs in here and see how the heat uh, is even on the bottom or not. And then we're going to burn some chocolate. Are you guys ready? Let's go to the stove. I don't use, oil. I mean, I use oil a lot in like dinners, but in breakfast with my eggs, I always use butter because butter adds more flavor to the eggs. It also works as a lubricant and all that. So we're going to melt this butter in here. Okay. While it's melting, I want to show you something. See the flame on? Yep. While that's melting. Okay, these lids have a little bit of play, but they don't let any air or anything inside. See? They seal really good. Just letting you know that. Okay, now that our butter's melted, we're going to drop our egg in. Here we go. And we're going to try and cook the egg without flipping it. So we're going to knead our lid, definitely. Put a lid on there. Okay, the egg is getting a little bubbly, so let's take the lid off. Take a look. All around. Doing good. I'm going to cook it extra long. See if it sticks to the pan. I leave the lid on so that the heat on top can cook the top. As you can see, the white on top is getting cooked. That's a sunny side up egg right now, right there. Okay. As you can see, the egg's not sticking. Most times when I'm in the frying pan, I got to use a spatula to move the egg around and all that. But as you can see, this one's nice and cooked. I'm just going to roll it out right there. There we go. All right, as you can see, there's nothing on the pan, no residue or nothing. It looks brand new except a little bit of butter on there. Okay, go ahead. Okay, our next test, we're going to put a little butter in the bigger fryer. Let's go with a medium flame, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to put in scrambled eggs equally across the whole bottom of the pan. We're going to let it cook for a while, then we're going to flip it over to see if there's any hot spots. That's the best way for me to think of testing the pan, whether the heat gets dispersed or not. Now the butter's all melted, let's put our eggs in. We're gonna see how well this disperses heat. So we're just gonna, where's my lid? Go ahead, put the lid on it. Keep it on there. All right, so we're capping it off right here. We're gonna let it all cook for a while. Then we're gonna gently flip it and see if there's any hot spots. There shouldn't be any hot spots. It should be equally cooked across the board. Okay, okay now that we've cooked all the eggs, I just took the lid off. We're going to flip this and see what the other side looks like. Okay, I'm looking at this egg, and you can see there's pretty much brown everywhere except this circle right here and this circle right here. Now, the reason these two spots did not brown is because they had an air bubble. If you saw, they were, look back in the video, you'll see those areas were lifted by air. So they really had no contact with the pan. So I can't knock this for being too hot. This is just naturally browned all over. Anything that touched the pan, kind of browned at the same, same level. Little bit dark spots right here, but uh, I think it, it cooked evenly, and I think the air bubbles affected how the egg cooked in these areas. So I would say that the heat was dispersed pretty well, all the way to the edge. I'm tired of melting chocolate every episode. So I just felt like I'm going to put some chocolate in here. And that'll be enough. There we go. And then turn it on. Make sure we got flame. We got flame. All right. So the deal is we're going to burn this in there. Going to let it cook for a little bit. And then we're going to just take like a paper towel and see if we can wipe it clean. All right, guys. We're going to give it a few more minutes, but it's... It's bubbling nicely. 
I expect it to clean real easily, so we'll let it cool all by itself. But just give it like one or two more minutes to really get cooked in there. Man, it looks nothing like what I started at. Okay, so we're just gonna run some hot water on this and see how easy it cleans out. We're using just a little Adobe Scrubby, just like we would naturally. What? Oh, okay. Okay, we're not using Adobe Scrubby. Let me correct myself. She's just using the little sprayer and all the chocolate's coming out? Yeah, it's just coming right up and off. Coming right up and off out of the pan, she says. So it's cleaning easy? Yeah. No scrubbing needed at all, right? No, just the water. Just, just the water is cleaning the pan. As you can see, it's coming off with no effort whatsoever. And uh, I deem that test a very much success. So the single egg swirled around, came out nicely. The scrambled eggs cooked fairly evenly. There were a few dark spots. Um, the uh, burnt chocolate washed right out with hot water without no scrubbing. So this test uh, that we've done today is deemed a success. You got a one, two, three, four, five, six plus lids, 12 piece set. It's $119 at Sam's and this is what I'm going to be using for a while on the show. Be looking for it in my upcoming videos. You'll see it. You'll see everything cooks in it. You'll see if anything burns in it. Uh, pff, you never know. Anything can happen on this show. So basically that's it. There'll be, if I can put a link down below, I will. Uh, if not, just check your local Sam's club. Uh, I believe my store is out of stock. So you might want to purchase it online. Sam's Club is really good about returns of any issue within the year of owning this, all right? That's it. I'm excited to be using these, and uh, we'll see how they work, all right? I love you guys. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.